Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! Thanks, Jen. <laughs> oh, it's Wednesday. Oh my God. It's boys' night. <laughs> this is good for me tonight. So I'm giving my wife the night off. Me and Nico, my three-year-old, go hit up some dinner, go hit some Chuck E. Cheese. Have you ever played the big Angry Birds game? It's like your phone, but you actually have to... We hit that shit for a hundred tickets like over and over and over again. He just runs a muck at Chuck E. Cheese. Watch out, Chuck. Here we come. Charles Edward Cheese. It's an alias, by the way, for a fairly prominent stand-up comedian. I don't know, I can go any further. Uh, Jen, how was that, dropping that off that day? It was, it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Jen gets to do special things sometimes, Ooh. even though it was after hours. And yes, after hours. Is... Uh, let's see, anyways. Weird Ass Wednesday. It's back. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, definitely weird. Haven't done one of these before. Uh, got a lot to talk about. Come on back. This guy is from 1966. This is an original coral longhorn guitar. Semi hollow body. Yes. A pair of those lipstick pickups. Original sunburst finish. Mm. So, I can, you know what, I guess we have done a coral before. We did the coral electric sitar um, on sitar Saturday, whenever the hell we did that, <laughs> like a year ago or something. So what's the deal with coral? Kind of looks like a Dan Electro. Well, it was made by Dan Electro. Well, actually, let's go back a little further. In 1966, Dan Electro got bought by MCA, one of the other great corporate takeovers in the guitar industry in the 60s. You know, we've got CBS bought out Fender, we have Norlin bought out Gibson, we have Baldwin bought out Gretsch, and we have MCA bought out Dan Electro. At that time, you know, Dan Electro is a budget guitar company. They wanted to do something that was a little bit more professional grade, a little bit higher end. Um, so they got in touch with uh, New York session ace Vinnie Bell, um, who helped design a lot of these uh, models for him. So there we have these Longhorns, you have the Coral Sitar, you have the Belzuki 12 string that Vinny developed, which was uh, kind of the shape of a bazooki, but a 12 string guitar. Uh, there's like a kind of a Howard Roberts looking thing that's kind of like a round hole arch top with pickups on it. There's a few different models, bases and 12s as well. Um, but here's the deal. So. These guitars are made of really, really high quality stuff. Check out the flame maple on the back of this. Wow. But these were made in Japan. The bodies at least were. So the Kawaii Piano Company actually built these bodies and shipped them back to the States where they then got fitted with Dan Electro's typical lipstick pickups and wiring um, circuit. Uh, but check it out. I mean, nice fancy binding on the top and the back. We got uh, spruce top. We've got beautiful fiddleback kind of maple. And then check out the neck. These necks are nuts. This is like classic right here. This is a poplar neck all the way till you get up to where that serial number plaque is. And then it cuts off here. Yeah, this is Brazilian rosewood as well as the fingerboard. So they decided to use a combination of Brazilian rosewood and poplar. Go figure. <laughs> I wasn't running the show, man. I didn't build this thing. I was just telling you about it. Um, but rather, really deluxe parts. You got Cluson deluxe tuners, um, like you'd see on the Gibsons and the Fenders, Brazilian rosewood on the board. Um, also, we talked, we did a Dan Electro not that long ago. We were talking about these lipstick pickups. These are literally old military lipstick tubes that were left over from the war that they bought a surplus of because they were cheap and they just decided to start building their, their pickups inside of them. Um, so you'll see these on almost all the Dan Electro guitars, and as well as the Corals. Uh, this works kind of like a Gibson three-way switch, just a, you know, neck, both, bridge. And then on the controls, we have uh, volume and tone for the neck, we have volume and tone for the bridge, and then they also have the addition of the master volume. Oh man, <laughs> weird ass Wednesday. Had some uh, tuning issues with the Rickenbacker yesterday. I'm really challenging myself this week. Let's go plug this son bitch in. See what it can do. All right, we're up front. We have the 1966 Coral Longhorn guitar. Original sunburst finished with the two lipstick pickups. Uh, we're gonna do a Blues Junior today. All EQs at noon. A Little bit of reverb. Uh, let's start up on that neck uh, lipstick pickup. See what that thing can do here.
I was going to the middle position here. That's going to be a combination of those two lipsticks together here. So let's get out of that bridge pickup. Let's crank that volume a little bit. Let's get this thing to rock a little bit here. Let's see what we got here. Sixty-six. You got original coral, longhorn guitar, semi-hollow body, spruce top, fiddle back, maple, poplar, and Brazilian rosewood neck, and a pair of those Dan Electro lipstick pickups. There's your weird ass Wednesday for this week. Follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars, and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at Norman'sRareGuitars.com. We got another episode of Guitar of the Day coming up for you tomorrow. We'll see you then. Peace.